Think that's when Nigerian music started ah. really start tapping, tapping in. So the lineups were the lineups were like Whiskey, AK. Whoa, whoa! And it was it was doing? nothing. You know what I mean? Excuse I was like, me. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I what? I think, so again, strategically. Okay, there's one thing that he just taught me when I was working with the Mashias. It's just <clears> when you decide to go with something, mm-hmm. stay consistent with it. Mm-hmm. Don't chop and change all the time. <laughs> my all my cousins were afraid of my dad. But me personally, like because I grew up with them, I was never Chilling. you know what I mean? Ah, yeah. Right. But I was also a disciplined kid growing up, to be fair. Beautiful. I was mm. I never had bro, I never had issues, I never like ran away from home with, like yeah, when, I mean, yeah. to this. Welcome to the Papa the Papa 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 the Papa. Papa, Papa. Mm. Literally that that, that Nas Mandela is saying, together we can literally do more. It's the Posties Podcast. You know the vibes already. It's another Saturday. Welcome to the Posties Podcast, the show where we bring you the livest, coolest, best, entertaining, whatever. You know the vibes already. Tell me how you doing today. Oh, bro, I'm doing well. We're back at Vortex, guys. Yeah. Firstly, I want to say shout out to the live studio audience, guys. Woo! They're here yet again, guys. Woo! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Crazy. Let's get some let's get some things out the way guys. Okay. Firstly, subscribe, like, comment, share, listen to this guy's music, pull up to this guy's DJ sets, but also guys, shout out to Vortex Shisha for hosting us yet again. Shout out to Captain Morgan guys, presented by. And then also you see in the background, bro. Yes, uh, everyone the boys are stacked. With, the boys it's are growing, stacked, bro. bro. The family's stacking. growing. There's balance in the background. There's so paradise in the background. Yes, we sir. up, guys. There's we up. In the background. There's, there's also Wi-Box in the background, background. but also Power. there's someone right next to me that Ooh. Alex needs to introduce. Just now, bro. Who we got, bro? Who we got? No posties just keeps on getting better, bigger, and sexier. And obviously, Yo, to match as for sexier. I mean, you My see bro. who's sitting next to me. <laughs> <laughs> you see who's sitting next to me, bro. Hey, guys, we're Alex. presenting to you guys. <laughs> Tash, I don't. I said his name. <laughs> you spoiled his chief. Uh, hey guys, this is one of the guys who's actually brought culture to Cape Town from when we were coming up, young age wise. When we were stepping into the streets, bro, we saw culture for the first time. We saw a collective for the first time. We saw someone doing it for the first time. Someone pushing it, pushing the envelope for the first time. It's Babyface. It's Mr. Talent. You already know what it is. Tash, how you doing, my brother? Yeah. <laughs> Tashinga, we want a party. Tashinga. Dog, you could shout out for pulling out the posties, my G. Thank you, my brother. My Thank guy, you, my guy. Crazy. Tash, first question. Yes. Where do you find the baddies in Cape Town? Wow. <laughs> you know what's crazy? I obviously watched Summer's interview. Of course. Uh, <laughs> shout out. <laughs> and the answer is not good. It has to be drama. Of course. It has to be drama, course, of course, drama, drama CPT, Cape Town. Shout out drama CPT. Be, that was crazy. crazy. It was crazy last night as well. And then I saw your text. Every yeah. night, bro. Every, Every night. night bro. Dog. It's a Mazzalini, bro. Every night. You guys go too crazy. You know what's crazy? Talk I've worked me. at so many clubs in Cape Town, yeah? Mm-hmm. And like after like a couple months, you're like, okay, I see the same baddies. I'm tired. Mm. At drama, it's always like, you know what? At the DJ booth, man, my boy's like, whoa, who just walked in? <laughs> Every night. Literally, it's bro. It's a new person so, in the booth. Drama Cape Town, bro. Yes, sir. Yes, bro. sir. I love but that dog, you you, you've come a long way since replying to Gumtree ads, bro. <laughs> <laughs> via your, via your con- bro, so I want to start with, like, dude, like, your creative journey, bro. How did you mm. get into DJing, my G? Tell us a story. Where do you want me to start? At the beginning. Do you want to start in beginning. Cape Town yes. or do you want to start uh, in Zimbabwe? Yeah. Ah, oh, yeah. Zimbabwe! Boys! <laughs> no, let's rip it. Let's rip it. It's national posties, man. Right? Yeah. Um, so high school, mm. I was the I was the I was the guy that organized all the parties. Mm. Yo, nothing's changed to this day. <laughs> uh, bro, nothing changed. And uh, I used to, I, I was the only person that started bringing celebrities, quote unquote, mm. like Zimbabwean celebrities. High school. high school, crazy to the high school. Why? And, uh, Why could you do that? I don't know. I think I just found a formula to make money. That, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's source. That's so, source. Yeah. So I did that, and then. I think going out of high school, I was actually going to study computer science at UCT. Mm. Mm. Got my place, everything. And I just didn't feel like that's what I wanted to do. Crazy. So I told my parents, I don't feel like this or what I want to do. I want to be in the entertainment industry. I want to I manage artists. Mm. That was my... That, that was how... You, you wait, know? when you did that, was it because you were just like, okay, I know my parents. They're only going to accept it if I give them like a business twist to this. 
Oh, um, were you actually serious about that? I was serious about managing artists. That's Crazy. literally what I wanted to do. Mm-hmm. Um, and I mean, they didn't understand. They didn't see the business twist to managing artists mm-hmm. at all. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? So I kind of had to show them. I think Simon Cowell at the time, because he was doing the whole TV and managing artists. Yeah. And I was like, this is what I want to do. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I think my mom started believing in it a bit. And then they were like, fine, you don't have to go to Varsity this year. So I took a gap year. Mm. And in my gap year, I started throwing house parties in, in Harare. Mm. So mm. I went to school. That, that's a Turning powerful gap yeah. year, bro. So when you hear all those stories, when you hear all those stories about how Harare was turning up. It was this guy. Hey, it was this guy. <laughs> I that's crazy. Them. I met a few people in Cape Town who used to come to those parties. No way. <laughs> yeah. So started throwing house parties in, Cape, in, in Harare. Mm-hmm. And uh, what happened was there's a club that we then started working with. I was just like, a, I mean, I would bring people to the club kind of vibe. Yeah. And they knew about our house parties. Mm-hmm. And the South African cricket team was coming Whoa. to play. Shout out to Proteus. The Zimbabwean cricket team. Um, they Pen- trapped, we we yeah. trapped you guys, didn't we? <laughs> I, I, I was just checking. I was making sure. Probably. I don't even yeah. know. I don't 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 you know, tasked to do the after party. Mm-hmm. But he was just like, on a, he's just an owner. He mm-hmm. doesn't know how to do marketing or whatever. So he's like, guys, that's your tender. You guys go through this party. Mm. And we had to like register a company or whatever. That's where the name of my company came from. Uh, Which green, one? Green Greenback. Green, green, ah, green, 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 hey, yeah. green, green, green back, shout out, shout yeah. out, shout out. So that came from the fact that in Zim we use US dollars mm. and the US dollars nicknamed the Greenback. Ooh, that's where that came from. That's fine. Out. So we threw the after party for the SA Zim cricket team. And from then, that's when I was like, yo, this events thing also works. Mm. So it's a real thing. It works. And then I came to visit my brother in SA, mm-hmm. um, in Cape Town. Mm-hmm. And my dad, well, a family friend was going to after. Mm. And they needed extras for a shoot mm-hmm. after the film school by the mm-hmm. way mm-hmm. they needed extras for a shoot so i was like fine i'm gonna go and i went and while i was there i was talking to these people from after and they're like they don't write exam they don't actually sit down and write mm-hmm. i had never thought about the film industry mm-hmm. at all but i was like i don't have I to don't write, write. exam <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> i don't have to do this under pressure. Bruh, yeah. maybe i should just tap yeah. in yeah. yeah so i mean i told my dad about it and good thing it's like a whole family friend situation so he asked her dad like what mm. after about and they're like you're cool it's a viable thing so that's how the journey starts Ta- yeah came to cape town study film um changed greenback events to greenback film at yeah. the time okay and then started shooting Music videos. Mm. Right. Mm. I'm, I'm not talking just about DJ, I'm talking the whole journey. Yeah. No, no, no we're here for That's what we're here for. Started shooting music videos, um, got to meet a few celebrities. So that's another thing. A lot of people think I know celebrities from the club. Mm. A lot of these guys, I knew them from shooting videos for them. Wow. Oh, yeah. wow. Um, or like shooting events or whatever the case is. Mm-hmm. Um, and then what happened after that? So, film. And then I still wanted to manage artists. Yes. So I was like, let Obviously me find, first goal. Yeah, let me find some dope artists in Cape Town. Started managing a few artists and I just felt like there wasn't enough there wasn't enough platforms for them. Mm-hmm. And the only way to create Black platforms is to do them myself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I started doing events myself to put my own Wild. artists on. Wow. And that's how the events in Cape Town started. Mm-hmm. And then I think my first avenue into like actually knowing club people or whatever. So <laughs> when I was at after, I had a friend called Alex Johnson. Yeah. So, uh, no, no, not this Alex. <laughs> 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 no, Alex, no, it's not all. Do you know him? Yeah, light skin. Light skin. Ah, okay. Yeah. Our national republics were together. No, 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 homo. One of the hottest niggas on earth, man. Thank you very much. So like, much. Alex used Thank to have much, all man. the girls around. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> Alex. Alex was the Tashika. Seems like it's an. A- Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> you said it first. <laughs> Man, so Alex was my friend, became my best friend. He stayed in Fridahook, so we'd always come to his place. Ah, I see. I lived in Kenil, so like that was far. There was no Uber at the mm-hmm. time. That's how old I am. Mm. That's when you were staying with your Not brother in Chanda, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Alex Johnson so, is Nigerian. Yes, he's like quarter Nigerian, quarter Zimbabwe, yeah, quarter yeah, yeah, Yo, yeah, that spread yeah, is yeah, wild. Yeah, yeah, quarter yeah. English. Yeah. So I used to come to Alex's place and 
all the goals will come through, then we'll go to Shez and Temba. Ah. Yo, Shez. Ah, yes, yeah. nice. <laughs> bro. What a memory. The Cape Town history is too There's much, so much, bro. I can touch in a story, bro. Dog, I won't lie. This episode might be a little bit long. Uh, <laughs> guys, stay <laughs> tuned. <laughs> Let me finish. The intro alone is long. Bro. So, bro. <laughs> this is the first question. <laughs> um, what happened? So, yeah, we used to go to Shez and Temba. Bro, those days it wasn't like VIP like this. We'll just like chill on the dance floor with all the girls. Exactly, we're yeah. trying to vibe. Yeah. Once in a while, like me and Alex would be like, hey, cool, let's get a bottle, let's save up, get a bottle. Mm. Then the owner, his name is Idris. Now I actually work with Idris. Yeah, um, yeah. At the time, he approached us once, we were at the bar, remember we were buying shots. And he came, he's like, get two more shots. And then he's like, who are you guys? Because you guys are always here with mm. all these girls. Mm. You know, that's literally what how the Jose story, story yeah. started with yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, this guy named me. <laughs> <laughs> I am his son. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Literally. You heard it here. So he's like, yo, who are you guys? I'm like, hey, we're just students from after or whatever. He's like, no, you guys always, you know, have the best goals here. So what I'm going to do is every time you come, I'll give you guys a bottle. Just make sure you bring goals. Mm. So that was, quote unquote, my first, That's the first time unpaid ever. promoter job. I didn't, re- I didn't realize I was being made a promoter. I just thought it was like a, uh, you know, a plus. Booze, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, dog, yeah, anyway, that's how he got me. Friends. He was like, dog, anyway. just keep pulling up. I get a bottle. Just pull, I was like, this, I'm getting paid to groove? Uh, I don't have to spend money on alcohol. Uh, let me rock, bro. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. So this crazy, this story crazy, this story crazy. We love yeah. you to Shinga. But before we go too far, yeah. as I can see, you're looking very nice today. Looking sexy. Yeah. Let's talk about it. Beginning. Oh, Tim was looking very sexy. He's looking very nice. We I'm forgot. looking cute. I'm looking cute. Yes, we forgot. It's the drip cam, guys. Yes, <laughs> sir. It's the drip cam. Tash, what you wearing today, man? Carlton shirt to toe, my brother. Carlton shirt to toe. Um, oh. I did the shoes, but Carlton mm. shirt to toe. Carlton oh. uniform, orange and on the top, orange at the bottom, shades on, looking sexy. Yo, Carlton but the orange is the new black. Orange yes. is the new black. Uh, yes. killing killing. And the original for slashy shades, because people have fake ones for these ones. Oh. Oh. Just, let know. Let's, Let's talk know. about it. <laughs> I have these are those original ones. And if you do try to rub it, you will not succeed. I promise you. <laughs> you won't win that battle. No, <laughs> you won't. Tell me what you wear. Bro, guys, I'm styled by that guy, Mish, bro. Gotta keep the family close. I'm looking yes, nice, guys. You might not see it on camera, but there's the camo pants. Mm. Go check mm. my Instagram for that mm. post, guys. Mm. You know the vibes. Mm. Lex, what you wearing, my guy? Okay, I'm styled by the future goat himself, Alex Biaya. Yeah. You oh, know, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Cargo on the bottoms. I love my Crocs. You know the vibes. A little safari t-shirt on the top. Yeah, bro. You ready to hunt, my G? I was gonna wear Crocs, but I knew you guys did this. You already know. <laughs> No, <laughs> we're, we're Crocs lovers here. No, we really are, bro. Okay, so let's tap back in. So, Tash, your story yeah. is obviously spanning over different eras bro. of your life. Bro, mm. that's, and that's crazy. How that's many years is that? You're, you're about to reveal my age. Let's just say it's over some years. <laughs> Guys, I want like, Tash has been 22 since I met her. Every year we're celebrating your 22nd birthday. I'm like, there's no ways. Next year I'm 21. I'm going backwards. Ah, Benjamin Button left. Hey, that's the vibe. But so yeah, let me let me try speed it up because it's, it's no, a long no rush, story. No it's rush, a long story. We love it. Yeah, so she's in Timber, started getting paid for that, whatever, and then what happened after Shares? There's a club that opened on I forgot what that club was called, but the guy that was the marketing manager at Shares mm. um, was now the general manager of that club, and then he Jade? made me no no no, he made me the marketing manager at that club before Jade and everything. Mm, wow. Oh, this is before Jade even. Yeah. Okay. The club was called Imperial. Mm. Yeah, so mm. he made me the marketing manager at Imperial. Yeah, so that was like my first sort of like management position. Mm. Right? Crazy story, niggas never paid, so I left like after two months. <laughs> Standard procedure. <laughs> left after like two months. Is yes, there? Um started dating this girl that didn't really like the industry like that. So mm. I tough. I kinda tough, I kinda went back into like just videos. Yeah. Left left the scene, no, left the streets. Girls will change you. Uh, Bro. Yeah, we know that. <laughs> hey, hey, we know that hey, vibe. Hey. We're gonna tap into the I moved, I moved to, Hout, tap into I'm, the I moved to Hout Bay. With, like it was it was a proper wholesome thing. Jeez. Bro, you were you, oh, you lived, lived, my guy. Yeah. Uh, damn, Hout Bay level. No, no, we love women. We and love then women. What happened? So I went to my friend's birthday at this club called Unique in Claremont. Mm-hmm. Ah, um, remember Unique? Yeah, I, remember Unique. We remember everything. She. <laughs> <laughs> it was on a it was on a Wednesday night. I remember mm-hmm. that, and it was a bit of a dead night. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I met the owner. I'm saying owner in quotes because I then found out it was the owner. But of he's course, like, of course. yeah. So I was like, yo, what happens here on a like? Why is it so empty? And like, it's it was a it's a dope club at the time. I was like, this is clean. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Mm-hmm. Also location wise. 
Claremont students. Mm-hmm. And Easy money. How to pay Claremont not so far. I said, hey, <laughs> can we organize something? <laughs> I spoke to the hand. I was like, yo, at least I'm going to do one night a week. We're itching, hey? We're itching what? to get back in the game. I needed to, bro. I feel you. It's part feel of your you, It's part of you, dog. You know, you're taking your whole life, bro. And then you're like, you see this gap and you're like, I yeah. have to answer the solution. Yeah. 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 Crazy. Crazy. So, <sighs> what happened? Oh, yeah. So I was like, bro, I need to... You know, do something here. Can I do Fridays? You say it's sharp. Mm. That's when Back to Friday started. Mm. Before Unruly Fridays. Mm. Damn. Back, to, back to Friday. Go back to Friday. Yes. yes. <laughs> so we did Back to Friday, and I think that was my first. That's when I first realized that ish. I think I might be powerful at this thing. Because yes. Before that, there was <laughs> maybe. No, Just like, maybe. Claremont, I might Claremont, have a chance. <laughs> the only thing in Claremont before that was a shanty. Mm-hmm. Oh, mm-hmm. I don't know if you you're triggering us. You're triggering, <laughs> you're triggering us because, guys, uh, that Ashanti era should have been longer. <laughs> the, <laughs> that, that was that was peak groove, guys. Yeah. Uh, fun times. Oh, Ashanti. I think but you guys yeah, had an so all white party once, and I rocked up wearing a de- blue denim like jeans. Yeah. So Ashanti actually was my thing. Ashanti was was was. Kagiso, group mm, African. Yes, I oh, okay. He's actually my mentor when it comes to events, by the way. Crazy. Everything I want to know, I call Kagiso. So he was doing Ashanti, and I remember calling him. Funny enough, before I chose Friday as a unique, I remember calling him and saying, yo, I'm about to challenge you in, in mm. Claremont. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> which station should I rock? He's like, no, man, it's not a problem. If we get everyone to start coming to Claremont, it starts to make sense. So you, I can do the Thursday, you can do the Friday, it's all good. Mm. And uh, he hasn't called me up until now, but I'm pretty mm. sure... One day he's gonna tell me Ashanti went down because. Ah! <laughs> no, own it! No, own it! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crazy, crazy, crazy. So, we did unique back to Friday. Um, again, I need to start mentioning now the celebrity relationships I had built from shooting mm, started exactly. paying off with the events because now mm. this was the first time that a lot of like celebrity artists were going to Claremont. Ah, we did happy, a Nazi. Yeah. You did build, a you're actually birthday. building a, an yeah. ecosystem there, dog. We did a Nazi's birthday, we did Moosley when she was. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're the guys yeah. who brought uh, was it Ricky Rick to that pub in Newlands, Springbok. No, no, I remember that, that Springbok. That, that was that was head Okay, 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 okay. 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 I'm like, wow, you guys got <laughs> in a pub. <laughs> no, dude, I'm here. I'm like, guys, remember we're at Springbok right now. <laughs> <laughs> like, let's not forget what what we have. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So we did long, 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 long like era of uh, back to Fridays. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And what happened? Shears moved. To Greenpoint, mm-hmm. yes, mm-hmm. and became yes. sorry just before it moved. Um, Idris hit me up and said, Yo, I need you to help me with Jade Sundays. So I was like, mm-hmm. I mean, it's all good. I mean, I'm single now, so I don't have, <laughs> I don't have limitations. Uh, so I was working Fridays, Fridays in Claremont, yeah. and then Sundays at Jade. Is there? And then while I was doing that, he's like, Yo, I also need help at Shares. Mm-hmm. And there was a bit of a Shares era, which was in Shut Up and Groove Start. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, mm-hmm. that's so that's Swag. that, and then. When this is a dope story. I'm trying to remember the DJing story. Exactly where we related. Um, and then, what happened? Yeah, so the DJing started because while I was in Claremont, I realized no one is in the club between like 8 p.m. and like, I think Claremont used to start hitting at like 11. Okay. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. no one's in the club between like 8 and 11. And also, queen. for some reason, people used to go home at 3. So that 3 to 4 set was like, there was no one. Okay. So I was like, yo, let me save money because if there's like the 10 people that walk in, they want to hear music. Yeah. Mm. But instead of booking DJs, let me be the one to play. Crazy. Is and that I, how crazy. it started? That's crazy. how it started. No way. I ways. never ever wanted to like it's a business DJ solution. publicly. Yeah, wow. it, was, it was a business solution. Wow. And then this guy called Jono, VJ Jono, shout out. He told me how to DJ. And yeah, so Jono told me how to DJ. I was just doing it to save money. Mm. And, <laughs> And save and me. Uh, save and money, me. <laughs> now the business mind is there, my brother. <laughs> Crazy. Then one day we had a clarinet after party, clarinet race. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, after party for some event that they were having yeah. with, with Muzli. Okay. So we did that booking together. And I didn't know what time the clarinet party is finishing. Mm-hmm. Okay. In my mind, it's finishing 11 or whatever the case is. Uh, so I'm there at the club, I'm busy DJing my opening sets, you know. Uh, easy, easy. I love the muscle memory. <laughs> you do this. And all of a sudden, 800 kids in the building. I'm like, Fuck. whoa. This is early, guys. I'm now I'm supposed I to be here. We're <laughs> getting into that test story, though. <laughs> no, now we're getting into it. I'm busy calling people. I'm like, yo, come, come. can you come play early? No, one, no one's available. Played two hours. These kids were having a good time. Crazy. And at that moment, I fell in love with DJ. Crazy. Literally, at that moment. That's such a huge and mistake. 
so yeah, my first DJ gig was at 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 Unique, but I always kind of credit Saint mm. for being like my first DJing space because what happened was, I think this happened close to the end of the year, and then I moved to Joburg the same year. Another part of my story that people don't know. Brother, you lived yeah. in Joburg. <laughs> when <laughs> when <laughs> was this, bro? Tashi, we're here the whole time, bro. Bro, dog, Richie, what part of the story now? Uh, like, dude, when did this happen, bro? So 2018, I, I was like, you know what, I want a different scenery. I moved to Joburg, met with the Taboo guys. I think they had Taboo, Cocoon, yeah. and they had a third club at the time. So they're gonna make me a resident. And then I played like one week. 2018, really? Yeah. Crazy. And then I came back to Cape Town to throw Shut Up and Groove. Ah. Yeah. No, because Shut Up and Groove was at Shea, so it couldn't have been after party. Um, I came back to Cape Town through an event. I don't remember what event it was, but we did the after party at Saint. Mm. Okay. And big night. Mm. And Toussaint is like, yo, Toussaint's the owner of Saint. Yeah. Toussaint's like, yo, Toussaint. next week I'm booking DJ Zinkler. I need you and your team to market that again. Mm. So I said, Chap, I'll wait. I won't go back to Joburg now. I'll go back in a week. I come back for a week because I needed to make sure I collect the bag. Exactly. Uh, exactly. It's a very important bag. <laughs> touch. Yeah. Touch. touch. So. Two sounds like no, bro. Hey, please need rock you. the next week. We rock the next you. week, big night. And then this was I. I didn't speak about Untamed Authority, but Untamed Authority had formed by then, so it was like Untamed Authority presents Saint what what. Mm, mm. And the week after that, he's like, "Yo, again." And I'm like, "Hey, <laughs> if I'm still collecting the bag, I'll go back to Joburg in a while." Okay. And then we had a meeting. He said, "Bro, I need you to I work here you. full time." I said, "Bro, I live in Joburg." He's like, "Yo." The money looks like this. I said, say no say more. Say this. So, <laughs> <laughs> Books flight. <laughs> so I had an apartment in Jova for the year. I kept going back and forth. Um, I was present in Cape Town for most of the time because I was also dating someone who lived there. So like, I was Oh, dude, another relationship. Damn. Damn. Uh, uh, we okay. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. We got time. We got time. <laughs> yeah, so that's, uh, you see, I'm passing the DJ. You said about DJing. Should I yeah. just... Go no. on up until Tashinga, drama. we want a party. Shut up. So, Saints, Saints used to open Monday to Friday. Mm-hmm. I mean, Monday to Monday mm-hmm. at the time. Oh, dog, mm-hmm. I know. And I used to go every day mm-hmm. and I'll DJ every single day. And that was basically me practicing. That's where I feel like I became good because I felt like it was like a practice session every single day. Mm-hmm. I was playing for like three, four hours. There was a day. point, Tash, yeah. where qualitatively your sets just turned up and you never looked back. I can't spot it, but it was around about that time. It was Saints. Wow. Like there's, I always speak to people who start DJing, and I'm like, guys, you need to have a time where you practice a lot. Yeah. I played at Saint for my DJ sets at the time. I think for the first two three months, I wasn't getting paid for that. Mm. I was just getting paid as a marketing manager, mm. and I was not. I was a bookings manager, and I wasn't. Uh, what do you call it? I wasn't. I wasn't getting, getting paid, paid for the sets. Okay. Yeah. Only at some point, when I started doing gigs outside of Saint, did I sit down in Tucson and I say, bro. Listen. I'm also a DJ. Hey, yeah. <laughs> let's listen, let's listen to the bag now. Uh, yeah. I'm part of the booking. Add money. Yeah, so did Saints, um, left Saints on on a good note. Like me and Tusa, it was still it was that, that relationship mm. still grand. It's still yeah. good, yeah. Mm. It was time. I think I had done what I needed to do at Saints. You know mm. what I mean? When I got to Saints, I feel like it was a lot of potential mm. and there's a lot of like knowledge of things on the ground that I had and Tucson is like he's, he's a really hard worker mm. yeah. but I also feel facts, like there's certain facts. people and things that he didn't know and everything so I came in with that with that, that knowledge sense. with like celebrity relationships ETC yeah. bro and that same summer up. season when I was yeah. also <laughs> 18-19 yeah? that was 2018 yeah wow. 20 dog Yo. so we had, we had house parties every day from the 7th of December to the 31st Guys, Guys, I think I my liver's is still sore. Yeah, yeah, like, yo, dog, too much was happening there. Look, the, the boys coined a term for partying from a Monday to Sunday. The niggas called it a marathon, bro. Oh, yeah, I remember. Pulling marathons. <laughs> marathons after Jeez. marathons. You know when you know you're seeing your friends every day <laughs> at night? Uh, we were vampires. It was uh, a yo. Uh, it was so formulaic. <laughs> leave the house, touch a pre-party spot. If it's a white tea, if it's a Copacabana. <sighs> Afterwards, you touch Saints. Bro. Oh. The doors. I'm, t- I'm texting Tash. What time's your set? <laughs> uh, just so I make sure uh, that, okay, cool. Even if I'm promoing today, I need to know yes. what time I'm rocking, rocking. But what I want to touch on now is let's... You're, you're a groove connoisseur, bro. Mm-hmm. Especially, especially in the Cape Town nice, scene. That's a, nice, that's a nice title. I know. Thank you. I thought about groove it yesterday. Mm. Yeah. Um, so navigate being part of all of these spaces. Because, like, 
I won't lie, you're a magnet. Yeah. Where you go to next, we see it now with drama, we've seen it with Saint, we saw it with Jade. Like, how do you cultivate sneaker a cartel. culture? Sneaker, sneaker cartel, sneaker cartel. So sneaker cartel. The secret recipe. Labara. Labara. Keep going. Space Yo, Labara literally died. Space it literally died, bro. It's closed, bro. <laughs> so, like, bro, literally, like, how do you. Ma- like magnetize that energy, bro. Like, what's what do you, what do you think um, is going on in your opinion? And like, so from your perspective, what do you think is going on? And then answer the Tamer's question. How? To be honest, why must I think mine be answered after your question. Because it's a build up. It's a build up. Why do I need a build up? It's a build up. Wait, when you say what do you think is going on? What do you mean? So like, Tema says you are magnetic, right? Yeah. Do you think that you're magnetic? I think I'm, head, what's going I think on? I'm exactly. strategic. I'm not strategic. Yeah. Ah, okay, so it's very intentional. Learn. You know what you're doing. Yeah, I think I think the one thing that people don't realize, mm-hmm. and I feel like this is not a shot at any spaces that I've left or whatever the think? cases. But we, we love all of you guys. It's I think the one the one thing that I always speak about. Shout out DJ Boogie. Shout out DJ Boogie, looking nice. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, you will see him soon. Hey yo, hey, hey, yo stay DJ tuned. You will see him soon. Today. I'm saying shout out DJ Boogie. I'm saying shout out DJ Boogie because he's someone that I have these conversations with all the time. Mm. I think the one thing that people don't realize um, is that people follow energy. They don't follow, like, as much as we're living in a cloud based Mm -hmm. um, world, Mm -hmm. people really enjoy energy. Mm -hmm. So if if you go back from. Unique. If you go back from shares, well, mm-hmm. shares, I wasn't dri- I wasn't the driving force. Let me not, you know, yeah. lie. Yeah. Um, we can say unique. But if you go back to Unique, if you go back to Saint, if you go to Sneaker Space Cartel, Labara. Speyside, Boho, Labara, the one thing that Boho, I always I forgot pushed, about Boho, Soho. <laughs> you forgot about Soho. You forgot so, about Soho. Nice and Soho. I, 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 I mentioned mean, so, Soho. Okay. Okay. The one thing that I always push is like the energy. You know what mm. I mean? People want to have a good time. You know? I True. think someone posted something about it last night on, and tagged me on, on, on Instagram saying like, they miss the days when people just went out to pot. Mm. There's, there's, there's mm. other things that in the ma- in, in like, yeah. like the clouds, the bottle service. Yeah. That who's who am I with? You know yeah. what I mean? I just so, want to have a good time, guys. <laughs> that's the thing. So I feel like I feel like that's what creates consistency. Like we people get bored of you know it's, it's not every day that I'm gonna you get wanna, bored of seeing Tim's face I mean? eventually. Exactly. You know what and it's not. Like, I love it's you. It's not every day. It's not every day that you want to go to the club and hear the remake. You know what I'm saying? So you just want to have a good time. So again, strategically, okay, there's one thing that it just taught me when I was working with the Mashias. It's mm-hmm. just when you decide to go with something, mm-hmm. stay consistent with it. Mm-hmm. Don't chop and change all the time. Oh. And a lot of people that I've worked with them like left their spaces probably because they felt like, oh no, this week the student market didn't work. So next week let's book happen. like you know because yeah, uh, this is key. Else. Nah, yeah. like it's not that's not that's not that's Trying not the way it's supposed to be. Mm-hmm. So as much as if your first week is bad on something. Mm-hmm. Keep it going. That's what you've chosen. Mm-hmm. That's the energy you're creating. That's the market you're going for. Mm-hmm. Drama is an example. Like we have a crazy large, big bolas market that comes to drama. That's not our target market. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We're not saying we don't want them to come. Mm-hmm. We love that they come because that's how we make the money. Yeah. But then there's been people that have come and said, why don't you book so and so because they appeal to this market? I'm like, my brother, drama is a student club. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It just happens. It's a student bar, me. even. Mm-hmm. It's not a club, it's a student bar. <laughs> so we're going to run it like a student bar, and everyone else is coming to experience what a student bar is supposed to be like. Mm-hmm. And what mm-hmm. a student bar is supposed to be like is a lot of energy, a dance floor. Yeah. You know, and we've had people be like, oh, at tables in the middle. The no, section. No. You want, <laughs> yeah. you want a mushroom in the middle? <laughs> exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly. So, Again, to you, to answer your question, I don't think I don't think I'm magnetic. I think anyone can do what you know. How I know anyone can do what I do? How? Because I don't think everyone who comes to drama knows who's doing drama. Crazy. And everyone who was coming True. to this one, I can say for a fact, people who were coming to Unique did not know who was doing Unique Friday True. Mm-hmm. at all. True. Mm-hmm. I found out. I found out this year. Yeah. I only started. <laughs> I only started branding myself when I got to Sneaker Cartel. Mm. Even Saint wasn't like I didn't. Not True. a lot of people knew. True. The people mm. I was booking you, but like True. people who were coming didn't know, oh shit, Tashinga's on that's actually doing this. True. Mm. Only when I got to Sneaker Cartel did I say Tashinga presents and really Friday. Mm. So everything before mm. that, it's not it's not me. It's not I'm not the magnet. It's just strategically you have to find what you're trying to push and then mm-hmm. just stick to it. And if it doesn't work after some months, then it doesn't work. I, yeah. I'm trying to think if I've had an L, but I don't think I've yes, put an L. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's my guy. <laughs> yeah. That's my guy. So, Maybe with events here and there, but like when it comes to working in a specific space, mm. I've, I've always, you know, managed, maybe not for long, longevity, but I've always managed to turn it around for a while. You know what oh, I mean? Yeah, it's, That's yeah. beautiful. So we're hearing that um, from the beginning, you first had the goal, artist manager. 
Mm. When you tapped in, you fell in love with events, you became an events manager. Yeah. And then you saw a talent, the homies came to you and they're like, Tash, dude, you are mad poor. Come yeah. through. Then you became a bookings manager, all of that, etc., yeah. etc. Et in this time, was the goal changing? Was the goal changing? What is the goal? What is the goal currently? That's a good question. I Thank think you. I think currently the goal is. So there is something that we're about to do as as Ooh. as. <laughs> we love we love announcements. Well, we love announcements here. Yeah. Don't don't tease don't me. Naughty naughty. Don't tease me. <laughs> announce 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 announce. There is there is something we're about to do as 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 untamed authority, which I mean I, I can't fully announce it, but all I'm saying is. We're about to make the city move in a specific way that is going to put the city... We're trying to skip, we're trying to skip Joburg. Mm. No beef with Joburg. Mm-hmm. We're trying to skip Joburg to the international stage. Mm-hmm. Ooh. So, I like that. There's a speci- uh, we've gone back deep into artist management. You just don't know who we're managing it because we haven't fully announced it. Mm-hmm. Um, but we've got, we're, we're, we're grooming some artists and there's mm-hmm. some that are already there. Mm-hmm. And what we're doing is... Uh, we're creating these doors that I've opened for myself. Mm-hmm. If I wanted to have a gig in Dubai tomorrow, I know who to call. Say less. Yes. I'm busy running. Say Didn't less. you drop a song about your... Uh, <laughs> like, what was so, Didn't that happen? So these are doors that I feel like I've opened, but I think I want other people to go through these doors. So mm-hmm. there's, there's a sort of... Uh, and, I mean, passage that we've kind of created and we're just making sure that the artists are ready. And we're trying to create basically global superstars straight from Cape Town. Yes, Fine. Um, I love that idea. And for me, I think the goal is just to creates a lasting difference. Because, I mean, sharp, like you're saying, there's people who are like, yo, unique. That was yeah. the time of my life. Yeah. And that's great. I mean, you had your vast years and you went, and you'll always make remember a lifetime. that. But I think we, we need to create something that, you know, for, for, for a lifetime, like you're saying. You know, mm. there's, the way Pretoria came up, I don't know if you, you guys know the industry as, as, as I would, but, like, the way Pretoria came up and the way they came up together... And created something like a lasting thing. Because yeah. right now, the biggest artist are Pretoria artists. Facts, facts. So facts. that's that's basically what we're trying to do for K Town. No, we love that, and it's yeah. so it ties in so much with the with the the points for posties. Because mm. the points for posties is literally to amalgamate all the different cultures mm. and all amalgamate. the different. I got you, bro. Yeah, I got you. Yes, dog. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but the point is to bring everyone together and to represent and to actually platform what we have because we do have world. Quality, like the quality yeah, of facts, artists, yeah. the quality of management, the quality of people putting in the work behind the scenes. Mm. Top. As yeah. you can see, the things behind us, they're all local Cape Town kids. Facts. So Shinga is a Cape Town kid. Shout out to Zim. But he developed himself. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for putting that in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. crazy. I wasn't yeah. there for that part. <laughs> yeah. I want to take us a little bit left. Tennis, I want to take us a little bit left. So Tash, bro, mm. you were on... H Metro newspaper Ooh. back in the day. Damn, how do you know? How do you know that? Dude, I do my job well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do my job. No <laughs> Can you please tell us about that story? That's crazy. Can you please tell us about that story, Doug? Man, so there's this rugby festival that happens in Zim, yeah? mm. And I was. I know you guys play rugby. I know you guys play rugby. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> there's this extra man. I just got Yo, a dog, shorty. how many girlfriends, dog? Yo, my point. <laughs> in the girlfriend after the girlfriend after girlfriend. <laughs> so there's this ex of mine. I school, you speaking about ex, And uh, she was now dating, weirdly enough, she was now dating my friend. Mm. Right? Mm. And yeah, he's still not, friends with him? Yeah. Well, Hi. I mean, obviously now he's, he's, he's in England now, so we don't uh, speak as much, but if we're in the same city, we'll get married. Up. No, no. Okay. <laughs> you took it all the way. <laughs> she's in Cape Town now, but we oh, never see each other. Oh, she lives in yeah. Cape Town. Yeah, she's okay, avoiding drama. Shout out her. Shout out. Her. <laughs> ah, she's avoiding drama. Pardon, pardon, pardon. Good one. So, what happened? So, I was saying hi. Literally, he's next to us, mm. but I'm saying hi to her. Then some paparazzi situation. They snap the picture. Oh so shit! So Metro used to do this thing. Metro is like a tabloid. Mm. Yeah. They used to do this thing on the middle page where they'll just put pictures of like shit happening around Harar. Mm. Yeah. And on that snap is me hugging this girl. And my hand is still going around, so it kind of looks like I'm about to slap ass. Ah! Uh, <laughs> they got you, dog! <laughs> what is the headline? There's no headline, it's just pictures. You know what I mean? That but is you can candid. See, that you can see candid. my face, I'm smiling. I'm probably just saying, hey, how are you doing? And hey, but you look like you are happy. Yeah. <laughs> I got your girl, man! <laughs> So, <laughs> That's so now it becomes a big story. First of all, mm-hmm. so my brother is the first person that called me. He's like, we love Yo. your brother, by the way. He's so cool. Um, Shout out to different Nathan. brother, different brother. Oh, oh word, 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 word. <laughs> so my brother is the first person that called me. He's like, "Yo, 
Um, <laughs> ah, it's, it's, it's late. Because it's gonna get to the parents. I'm like, what is it? He's like, hey, come home. Ah. That's <laughs> hilarious. So I go back to his place. I was, I was, say, I was staying with him in, 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 in Arari. So yeah. I go back to his place. He goes, I'm like, Chief. shit. This is bad. This is what you went to. Like, you, there's no tough. way. Jeez. Bro, it's one of those things that, like, it really did look like it looks terrible. I'm about to slap her ass. I'm happy. She, <laughs> yo, shut up. That <laughs> photographer. <laughs> hey, yo, hey, he went crazy. And she had a nyash. Yo. She had a yo, real nyash. Bumper to yo. bumper. I'm <laughs> like, damn. <laughs> bumper to bumper. I, I, wait, I wait the whole day. I'm like, the calls come. My dad calls. Ish. Ish. <laughs> He's like, chief, what are you doing in that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, hey, I know what you're talking about. I was, I was at a rugby festival, and, uh, and then he's Yo, like, now you have to explain yourself. Yeah, so now he's asking, who's that girl? What's ish, about? Ish, I'm ish trying to explain friend. everything, everything. I, but he didn't get too mad, mm-hmm. to be fair. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's, uh, my dad's really cool. My dad's the kind of person that I think, mm-hmm. yo, I feel like he might watch. He, he's on YouTube now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dog, I will like, our parents are getting VG, bro. Nah, they're getting like, too woke, bro. They're getting, they're getting VG, too woke. Bro. They're getting too woke. So, he's the kind of person that I think if, if I didn't have girlfriends, mm. and let's say I lived at home mm. with him, mm. I probably could bring one I stand. I think. Well, I think he's Dude, uh, that's that's crazy this though. Is, this is a great segue for us to get to get to know to Shinga the family man, bro. Yeah. So obviously in the beginning your parents weren't too hot on the idea of you following what you were following. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and uh, now obviously they're much more open to it. Yeah. Like how was that relationship? How did you navigate that relationship in that time? And like how did you get to this point? Um Again, like I'm saying, my, my parents are very chill people, but I mean, they've, they've got our best interests at heart. And mm. I, think, I think at the time, my dad was more not disappointed in like the part I wanted to take, but just disappointed that I had wasted so much time yeah. saying, I'm going to do computer science. We you went, you. We went you got and, the boy hyped. We were applied for the visas. We, you got the I was, boy I was, hyped. I was going to say at Copano. Now that I know what Jeez. Copano is, I don't know. Like, yeah, like, yeah. Everything, everything was sorted, you know what I mean? So, like, I think mm-hmm. to him was like, a, so you made us go through all of that only to tell us this. Mm-hmm. I don't think it was more like a, I don't like the industry you're going into. Mm-hmm. But also, he did need some convincing as to, like, what mm-hmm. am I going to do? Mm-hmm. And I think for the longest time, he was also still trying to figure out exactly what it was. And I think, I always say this to everyone who's like, because there's been people that are trying to enter the industry and they're like, yeah, I don't want to do the degree I'm doing. I'm like, just tell them. And also, once the money comes in, it changes everything. It changes everything. Bro. Like I'm, once once the money comes in, they become your biggest fan. Different chats. You know yeah, for I mean? real, for yeah. real, for real. I went but, through the, the same yeah. situation. Just from another perspective, I finished yeah. the degrees. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Don't no, do but it's not like I wanted to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not like I wanted to. So it's always yeah. interesting to see the guys who actually like got up and they're like, guys, I can't do this. Mm. I can't do this. Mm. How yeah, does that feel? Did it take a lot of guts and bravery? It did. It did. Jeez. I won't lie. Like hard pop. So my dad, my dad is a former army mm. major. Yo, general. Yeah. Yo, he's not. General. How was that childhood? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> that was so short. For me, it was chill. But like all my. This cousins, is the guy you bring in one house, one night stand suit, bro. <laughs> my all genius. my cousins were afraid of my dad. But me personally, like because I grew up with them, I was never. Chilling. You know what I mean? Ah, yeah. It's, uh, but I was also a disciplined kid growing up. To be fair, beautiful. I was. Mm. I never had. Bro, I never had issues. I never like ran away from home. Like, yeah, when, I mean, yeah. So this thing we can see your discipline, yeah. your consistency. It shows in your work, mm. which leads me to the, my next question. Yeah. You've gone through so many avenues and so many different aspects of what you're trying to do. Yeah. And now you are part of your parcel is creating your own music, creating and pushing your own music. Shout yeah. out Hello Telly. <laughs> Shout out everything that you've dropped with yeah. Verge Beats, Spiral, yeah. like Show My Joys. Yeah. Yeah. Show My Joys. Hey, bro. Show My Joys. Show My Joys. Oh boy, boy. It, it, it just goes on and on and on. It's so crazy. But what lessons did you learn that you could say, okay, this is why I can say I'm two steps ahead of every other artist in creating their own music? When you actually tapped in yourself. Um Damn, that's, that's 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 a hard one to answer the way you asked it, because I don't think I'm two steps ahead of any artist, mm, to be mm, fair. Mm. Um I think I think for me it's more a case of uh Ahead? No. Mm. I think I think it's just a case of me being happy with right what word. I put out. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. I I'm not I never feel like I'm ahead of any artist when it comes to music. Mm-hmm. I just feel like I I'm creating something that 
I'm gonna enjoy and there, there's two types of things that I, that I release. Yeah. So for anyone who has listened to my music, mm-hmm. you'll Tap know that the two. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, 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 hey. That was a that was a sign. <laughs> it's time to listen um, to his music. <laughs> you would know that the two albums were very personal. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. The singles. Yeah. Are songs that I want to play in the club. Yeah. Okay. Wow. But the two real, albums, you're, you're telling a story with the, yeah, with the album. Okay. So I might, I might, I might uh, not might. I am dropping an EP soon. Please. Please. And I'm pulling an EP because Please. again, that's now for the club. Yes. So it's mm, called uh, okay. "I Heard You Like to Dance." That's ah, oh, fire, 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 yeah. fire. So, fire. Anyway, when that drops, that's for the club. But all my 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 projects, like the two that I've released, preseason and Greener Pastures, mm-hmm. those were both a very personal story. Heart felt. So everyone that I've worked with on those albums, they will tell you how this whole the studio sessions went. They don't have to. I was yeah. there. Oh yeah, you were there. Yeah. <laughs> so essentially, hey. how, how every studio session goes with me is, I sit down, I tell you a story. Mm. Whether it's happening in my life mm. or it happened, mm. and we work through that. It's mm-hmm. deeper than rap. The very first song I released was uh, Angels in the Sky. I that was about that. my brother that passed away. Mm. Yes. Um, yes. And that's the, that for me, I think that my entry into music was just like me paying homage to him because he always kept saying, yo, you have to release music. Tap mm. in, you know what I mean? And COVID happened and he passed away. He passed away the same day that Ramaphosa announced no. wow, that the lockdown. Be lockdown. Mm. Okay. Yeah, because I remember I was actually on my way back from the hospital and I was listening Sincerous. to the radio and then they said lockdown. And I was like, damn, that's, that's, that's a double hit. Bro. So I think my healing process for like both him mm. and like also no income was like, let's make music. Yeah. So me and Virg sat down and... Shut up, Virg Beats. Beats. Virg and, and Zoe, we sat down and yeah. I was like, yo, this is what I'm feeling right now and we have to... Wow. I think at the time we didn't even think we are going to do a whole album. It was just like, we need to make a song about Oh, this. that album started with a song? Yeah. Mm, Crazy. Damn. And then Angels Crazy. in the Sky came, came up and I wrote like half of Virg's verse. Mm, I don't think you'll ever want to admit that. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to ask him about it. We're going to ask him about it. I wrote, I wrote half of Virg's verse yeah, and yeah. I have my, in the song, my voice is actually there. The part that's, the, the hook, that's my voice. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. uh, I felt like I needed to say it myself. And then yeah. the rest of... Uh, shout out Lo Shitty. Shout out Lo Shitty. Shout out Lo Shitty. But there's generators at Vortex! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Um, Should we go on or wait for the... No, 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 no let's go on. Actually, it would not be fair, bro, for yeah. us not to bring up the Sierra Club uh, versus collaboration. Bro. Oh, Sierra. Yeah, yeah. Best 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 yeah. Best yeah. Best yeah. Best dog. You were there with Russell Wilson too, dog. Okay, let, me, let, me just, let me just touch on preseason quick. Then we'll yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go, let's um, go. So, preseason, the rest the of it, Oaks. the rest of preseason, if you listen to it, it's about different girls in my life, you know, and such friendships or whatever the case is. A lot of our goals. There's a song on preseason which, yo, can I talk about it? Let's go, it's in the album. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's there. It's the album's out. There's a song on preseason called Young Queen. And I think that's, the cli- that's one of the like, smartest songs we've ever done. Mm. Because if you know the person that we were talking about mm. and you listen to that song, mm. the number of like subliminal Wow. Things that we do in that is Wild. crazy. Wild. Were, were crazy. you writing that? Were you writing that? Yeah, that was me and Verge again. Crazy. Crazy. Um, yeah, so the number of subliminals that are in that song for this person is crazy. Were they good? Were they yeah. good? What do you say? I add too much. <laughs> Listen to the song. Thanks. <laughs> and then um, Greener Pastures. Greener Pastures took a lot longer to, to make. To so it's like a lot of different phases in my life. It's, it's a lot about... A, Big part of it's about the same relationship. Mm-hmm. You know, we wrote like three songs at a mm-hmm. point where me and this girl had broken up. Mm. And then like some of the songs were together and like we thought everything was gonna be, you know? Mm-hmm. So yeah, it's, 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 my process. music is about my life. Good, fine, good, good. Yeah. Okay, because let's, of let's, some let, of those. Let's tap into Sierra and then we'll, we'll wrap up with top five time after that. Top five time? Yeah, no, but like, <laughs> let's go Sierra though. Let's go Sierra though. This chat isn't so, done. Tash, needs to come back, bro. Okay, yeah, we're gonna back, need a part two. I'm just putting it out there, Chief. <laughs> going back to me being a videographer slash photographer, mm-hmm. yeah. I uh, did after, then I worked at, I worked with Hot FM. Mm-hmm. Okay. Then, so the radio station. Oh, did you been busy? You were doing videos for radio. Yeah, so I was doing their videos. So like mm-hmm. every like the shows that they used to do and like events they used to throw, or whatever. Mm-hmm. That's also how I met a lot of people. I think mm-hmm. that's actually how I first met AK. It was at a hot FM activation. R. R. And then yeah. after that I shot something for him. Mm. So what's this about again? So hot FM. Sierra. 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 Mm. So <laughs> um left Hot FM. And like two years later, the lady that used to work at Hot FM had started her own PR agency. Mm-hmm. And she was doing the PR for 
not the PR person, but she was planning Sierra's uh, trip to Cape Town. Mm. Oh, okay. So she hits me up. She's like, um, yo, there's these guests from America. <laughs> She's a these white guests. lady, by the way. Oh, oh white she had no idea. idea. She, she had, had no idea. idea. <laughs> she had no clue. <laughs> so at, at this point, Crazy. at this point, I'm now, like, my company has grown, so I've got, like, people that are shooting for me. I don't really go out and shoot anymore. Yeah. Mm. Um, and she hits me up. She's like, there's this... You know, a couple from America, they're coming to do... Damn. To, they're coming yeah. to do... Sierra, Sierra. Um, so, yeah, they're like Mr. and Mrs. Wilson. Mm. Oh, so I'm like, Sierra, okay, sharp. At this point, I'm still like, okay, someone else is probably going to go shoot this. Yeah, you, know? you have no idea what's going yeah. on. Then the dish, oh, she said, you have to sign an NDA. I'm like, who the Why? fuck is Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Mrs. Wilson? Yeah. And then she sends the NDA. So I'm about to forward this NDA to another photographer. For some reason, I said, let me open this email. I opened the email, I see Sierra Russell and Sarah. I'm like, yeah! I'm like, <laughs> auntie, hey! I'm supposed to be sure. I'm like, okay. I'm dead. You had, so had to call to sound. I'm not coming tonight. That's <laughs> <laughs> East <Easter, laughs> man. I'm busy, yeah. <laughs> so I had to sign in India. I couldn't speak about it. That was the craziest thing. Yeah. Couldn't speak about it, couldn't post about it. <laughs> <laughs> um... And then, yeah, like, it was, it was unreal, man. Like, I think at the time, I hadn't had such close contact with, like, a big American slave. Super stars. Weirdly enough, that same year mm-hmm. at Saints is when all the American slaves came. Back to T.I. I mean, T.I. I grew up yeah. on T.I. Met T.I. and you're making good, everyone. Yeah. So anyway, Sierra was singing at It was even, like, Charlotte Crosby from Jordy Shaw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That night. So they were staying at a hotel in Camps Bay, and... Like, literally when I arrived and had to wait for them, it was just like, I still couldn't believe it's happening. Like, you know mm, mm. Sierra's in my back seat. Yeah. <laughs> wow. This really Sierra, dog? That's the listen. <laughs> See, uh, it's crazy. Yeah, that's, that's all that happened. Right. It was crazy, man. And they, they're really, really cool people. Shout outs. Not, I mean, I don't think he'll ever watch this, but if he does, it's so weird. Hey, that, he like, will. People, <laughs> uh, they will. <laughs> I, I actually don't. I don't subscribe to the notion that like he's such a sweet guy, cool guy, or what. He's actually a bit of a dick. I'm dead, you Russell. Know, like, you heard this. Like, <laughs> be a bit of no. Man. <laughs> maybe maybe he's just protective of her, but like she she's was, like Sierra's the type. Also, she, future. She, mm, mm. Mm. Yeah, she's not a type. She's guys. actually quite chill. Like she, the yeah. whole time, she's the one that was having a lot of conversation with everyone. Yeah. Uh, just, he was a bit, and like even when people recognize them. Mm. Like she'd be like, no, let me take pictures, and he's like, no, baby, let's go. Like I'm like, hey, oh, okay. let, let, let's so let's let's bit. choke it up to that sportsman yeah. shy bag, okay. sportsman shy bag. Hey, yeah. hey. <laughs> but I think we can segue into top five, top five, top five. So this is where Tash, we ask you top five, mm-hmm. and this I pick one, Alex picks one, you answer. We're putting you on the spot right now. Okay. Lex, you wanna go first? You can go first. You can go first. All right, Tash, I wanna ask you, bro. Top five seasons via grooving in Cape Town. Ooh. You can put you can put names towards Ooh. that. You can put the year towards that. Yeah. But top five seasons for you. You don't have to put in a particular order. But like you've lived life, chief. <laughs> you've lived life. Mm. Um, mm. damn, that's a tough one, eh? Thank you. <laughs> that's a tough one because I don't wanna, I don't want to offend my current employers. Hey yo. So I might have to I might have to say drama drama twenty. What do we change 23? Drama, you can Shut up, drama. Well done, well done. Two, three, three, I hope you're happy with that dub. I hope you're happy. <laughs> so, yeah. drama 23, just for the sake of knowing to offend it. You know? yeah, it's, a, um, so it's a top four. It's a top four. <laughs> top four. Um, Saint Summer 2018. Saint Summer 2018. Had to be. Had, had to be. Um, damn. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And really Fridays? Okay, okay. Also, okay. I feel like I'm talking about myself a lot, but let me also just step away. Put on. Head honcho, uh, stay fresh Saturdays. Mm-hmm. That phase. I think it was like 2016, 2017. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Crazy big events. Jeez. It's never happened, but it's never happened like that again. You know what I mean? Damn. A lot of um, things have never been brought again. Yeah, but I also think that's because of like, I'm a piano coming in, because hip hop was easier to do events like that. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Go piano. Um, so that's what, that's three? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So mm-hmm. drama. Saints and then Oh, Shares and Temba. Shares and Temba season. Yo, there was a season. No, no, no. And not even the season you're thinking. Ooh. Before there was the another one. The secret season. No. <laughs> Before your time. I don't, no. I I don't want to say the year because it's going to just like. 
Okay. Like, yeah. In fact, people know my age, man. If you don't know, you don't know. But she was in December 2014 days. 2013, 2014. Oh, Yo, me, I was fighting grade 11. You know why that was huge? Let me tell you why that was huge. And if you go back to the pictures, you're going to be like, it's crazy that all these niggas were just in Cape Town like Crazy. This. That's when Nigerian music started. Ah. So the lineups were, the lineups were like, Whiskey, KK. Whoa, whoa. And it was, it was nothing. You know what I mean? Excuse I was like, me? What? Big boy, it was nothing for us. It was like, okay, who Actually, are these taken charge like, back then. They had one, they had like one song that was out. Like I think Davido was on Dummy Duro when he came to yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. But you don't Why? get that. Now. You, know you don't like, know that now, like, bro. Like, so I think that time, Ish, I might even need to push that. I'm a little bit. That Please. might be number two. So Please. drama, she doesn't take no particular 20, 40, 20, 20, 20. order. Don't worry, not too much, bro. <laughs> not too much. <laughs> Saint hit Hancho. Last and one. Then, I'm gonna have to go with Unique, man. Mm. Clement. Mm. Bro, Clement right. isn't the same. No, 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 it's that, not the that, same that anymore. Unique, Ashanti yeah. year, bro. Because it was a year where it was just back to back. Bro. What was that? 16, 19. 17. Bro, yeah, yeah, so yeah. Much, yeah. So much, so much. All right, Alex, yeah. hit us with top, top five. Top five, top five, top five, top five, top five, top five. So, Tash, obviously, yeah. my top five is gonna be based on you as a person. Okay. You wanted to be an artist manager. Yeah. Right now, you're starting, ne? Yeah. And you're managing and you're grooming. I see yeah. where you're going. So, locally. Yeah. Cape Town. Yeah. Top five young kids pushing. Let's hear who they are. <laughs> Your opinion. In any industry? Any entertainment creative industry. Cool. Entertainment we, we creative. Here, we here. Stay, stay at home. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to join these guys as one group, the Broke Boys. Okay. Oh. Okay. okay, shout out the Broke yes. Boys. Shout out to the Bruce. They're they, they they family they with yeah. posties. We love them. Um, so Broke Boys, again, it's not in any particular order. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a kid called Vinny Raps. Uh, Vinny Raps. Um, I think I think I'm giving a bit Is of a clue now. We signed Vinny Raps. Hey. Ah, you heard it, yeah. You heard it, yeah. Well, Vinny Raps is pushing, man. He just dropped a crazy ass uh, EP now. Like Shut last out, week. Vinny Raps. Um, damn. You on to? You on to? <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's long. No it's long. Hey. Yeah, a lot of people are watching you. The hey. DMs are watching you. Hey. It's like, yeah, which one do I choose? Yeah. Post his podcast. Of course. Oh, shout out. Like, shout out. Like, like. You know the vibes. Um, Tam, it would have been easier if you had just said in music because now I'm thinking about other things as well. It's good. There's people in your atmosphere. Tash, you're bigger than just music. True. And I'd like to pay homage to that. Also, your, your culture, bro. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't know if we can still look at her as someone who's still like pushing because she's, I mean, she's done it. Kiki. Kiki. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. go back and watch that episode, guys. Go back hey, and watch that yo. Um, who else? Was it one more? Yeah, yeah it's one more. Crazy. Yeah. No, he knows. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the spot everyone's fighting for. <laughs> yeah. Excuse us if we get called up to this. If we get called up to this, it's okay. Hey, <laughs> Sorry, it's okay. Guys. It's not personal. Nah. Motivation, hey. motivation. Damn, that's a hard one. Yep. You know what? Mm-hmm. <laughs> what a crazy boy, but man, Teddy, Teddy, good fella. Teddy, right. good yes. fella. Hey, yes, uh, yeah, nah, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crazy thing about Teddy, I'm, I'm not trying to take props or anything, but let me tell you, nah, Teddy, take the props. first started MC. Put up, put up. I was playing at Rands, and I was scared, bro. Like the market mm. at Rands is so different, right? Yeah, yeah. Locus. Shut up, shy. I was like, yo, and they played Gom just before me. Me, mm. I'm like, hey, man. So the vibes are up. The vibes are up. <laughs> mm. And they're telling me to play Afro beats. <laughs> <laughs> they said to book you. How are you gonna do this? I'm like, I was like, it doesn't exist yet. I was like, it doesn't they should have put me at one o'clock in the afternoon hey, or two or so or hey. or something. I'm like, damn. So I'm there with Teddy and I knew Teddy could dance. Mm. Wow. Never heard him on the microphone. Mm. I was like, bro, we have to make this a show. Mm. Grab the mic, just hype it up, mm. go and dance. Mm. He was a little bit lit. Mm. He jumped on stage. He started dancing. Mm. I was playing Rands every Sunday. Crazy. After that, we went to Rands every Sunday. Crazy. And that's how Teddy became my MC. Crazy. Teddy Goodfella. From that moment to like where he's gotten now, yeah, it's crazy, man. No, it's it's, it's very much merit to his work and what he's sure. putting in. Nah, so sure. shout out, shout out, Teddy. Yo, yo. He's, he's a he's a 
He's a hard worker. No, no. I believe that. He's I crazy. He'll rock, but he'll wake up in the morning and he'll do the work. You know. Damn. Can't wait to have him here to talk yeah. about himself. Yeah. But yeah. shout out Tash for joining us, bro. Shout out Tash this conversation went us. deep, and there still <laughs> needs to be a part two. There's a part two. There's, there's, there's a part two, two coming. Tash, also yeah. flowers to you. Yes, flowers to you. I feel Let like you. You're lucky. That's part two. That's part two. That's part two. I'm not coming. You remember, guys? Sorry, sorry. Part two. Part two. Part two. Yo, guys, you guys know what to do. Subscribe. Like, join the community, join the family. Shout out to everyone here. Shout out to the live studio audience again. Yeah. And guys, as you know, you the journey continues. The journey continues. Yeah. Come on.